Hello guys! It's your Ilocana vlogger Carla and welcome back to my channel. So for today's content, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make FPJ. But before that, let's define first what FPJ is. What is fermented plant juice? It's a microbridge botanical extract made by fermenting various plant parts like shoots, leaves, axillary buds, fast-growing plants, and young fruits being mixed with molasses. Some examples of plants that can be fermented are water spinach, azolla, squash, malabar spinach, and some nitrogen-rich plants like river tamarind. Before we get started, let me introduce you the following needed materials. First, we have weighing plate, kitchen knives, chopping board, 1 kg banana stem, 9 kg water spinach or kangkong, bond paper, tissue, rubber band, masking tape, marker pen, molasses, Manila paper, beaker, clean and dry buckets, weighing scale, and of course, never forget to wear your personal protective equipment. First, collect the plant materials to be fermented. Prepare and weigh at least 9 kilograms of water spinach. Next, disjoint the stems of water spinach. Slice of 9 kg water spinach into small pieces. so that the juice can be easily extracted. Next, cut off 1 kg of banana stem. Chop the banana stem into small pieces. Again, this is to easily extract the juices. Temporarily put 9 kg chopped water spinach in one clean and dry bucket. Place 1 kg minced banana stem in the basin. Together with 9 kg chopped water spinach. Mix them thoroughly with your hands. Use a tissue to wipe off the container's opening before transferring the molasses to the beaker. Then measure at least 2.5 liters of molasses. Pour the 2.5 liters of molasses into the basin. Molasses is a viscous substance that primarily contains sucrose and smaller amounts of the monosaccharides fructose and glucose. We incorporate molasses in our fermented products. 
because it serves as food source for the microbes carrying out the fermentation process and also helps extract the juice out of the plant material via osmosis. Flies may discourage good fermentation process because they lay their eggs near the surface of fermenting products or other moist organic materials, causing contamination and spoilage of your ferment. Put the mixture in a clean and dry bucket as it will serve as a fermenting container. Put weight on top like rock to compress and weigh down the mixture. Then, remove the weight placed on the surface after 5 hours. Cover the bucket with paper or cloth and secure with a rubber band or a string. Paper or cloth is used as cover to allow some air transition as well as for the gas that is being produced during the fermentation process to escape. Masking tape is optionally used just to ensure that the cover is well secured. On its side, write the date of processing and the expected date of harvest. Let it ferment in a cool, dry, shady place. The fermenting period lasts for about 7 to 15 days. So let's wait until the harvesting day comes. Things to prepare, surgical gloves, strainer, funnel, clean and dry plastic bottles, masking tape, marker pen, basin, and of course, PPEs. Collect the fermented extracts using a strainer and a funnel. Squeeze hard to get the remaining extracts. Put the squeezed fermented materials in a basin. Label your bottle. Labeling includes name of concoction, time being harvested, and the date of being harvested. Here are some of the important reminders for you to know before you start making your FPJ. Collect plant materials early in the morning while they are fresh and the microorganisms are still present. Do not wash the plant materials or avoid picking plant materials during or after rainfall because rain washes away lactic acid bacteria and yeast on the leaves. Also avoid picking plant parts along the roadside as it is polluted. Always remember that a good ferment always gives a slightly alcoholic sour sweet smell. In the absence of molasses, you can use brown sugar, honey, or muscovado. What are the benefits of fermented plant juice? FPJ serves as seed treatment before sowing, as natural growth enhancer, as an energy source for soil microorganisms, as natural fertilizer, 
as water additive to livestock, spray on animal beddings to quicken manure decomposition, and as a natural deodorizer. Application 2 tablespoons of FPJ mixed in 1 liter of water or add 2 cans. I am referring here those canned servings of FPJ in a 16 liter knapsack sprayer. This will be administered via drenching and spraying. And that's it. I hope you guys learned something from today's vlog. More vlogs are on the list, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to keep you updated as always. This is all for now and I'll see you in the next vlogs. Bye for now!